Hello, this video will show you how to install Slax into a VirtualBox drive. Slax is a very lightweight distribution based on Slax and later ported to Debian to support APT installation packages. The installation is going to be pretty simple. Basically, we want to create a virtual machine, we want to boot the Slax ISO, we basically want to assign a drive and format it, we want to create a partition, make the partition bootable. We make an extension for it. We copy the data from the ISO image downloading again, and then we just kind of run the installation script and boot it. Remove the original box. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started. I call it Slacks 9963 is the latest. I'm gonna call it Linux. It's gonna be 64-bit. Uh, uh, the memory we can view can use very little memory, two gigs is fine. I'm gonna create a virtual disk right now. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna be a virtual box disk image. And I'm gonna be dynamically allocated. I'm gonna assign it four gigs only. <clears throat> um, could be less, could be one gig. Since the distribution is only 300 megs, but just for testing, this be plenty. I'm gonna create a drive. And basically, once we have it here, I can just double click and get it started. It's gonna ask me to prompt the ISO image to start it. I previously downloaded a Slacks 64 bit or 963. I'm gonna sign that one and let the image start booting. I have three options. I'm just gonna go for, <clears throat> for this case, I don't need just to just nothing to copy to RAM, that's fine. I don't need to store any data at this point. Um, so this is going to boot nice and quickly flux and um, starting X. Then we have a scenario we can actually open next term at this point. As you can see the distribution is very lightweight. It's only 289 gigs. So at this point uh, I like to go ahead and Follow these steps. We put this like ISO, when I format the drive, I want to create as a primary partition and then make it bootable as well. So let's go ahead and do a disk. Drive SDA, the new partition, primary one. Uh, I want to make it bootable. And there you go. That's it. So uh, with that, we make the partition decision too. Let's go ahead and mount the slacks. Uh, it's mounted in the my slacks folder. Um, these instructions will be mount my slacks. So let's go ahead and and there we go. We got it mounted now. So um, we want to need to download the ISO image to actually copy the contents here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take advantage of the GUI. I'm going to open the browser. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to slacks.org, which is the name of the distribution site. I want to download the 64-bit ISO. And uh, I'm going to download the 963. It's downloading. I'm going to show this in the folder. <clears throat> Which a folder we can see here that is home guest downloads. It's usually running as a. Even though the shell is giving me a shell for root, the download is actually. Um, and home guest. So I'm waiting 15 seconds just to download the ISO image, which is only 263 megs. And once I have it ready, <coughs> I want to mount it and copy directly to the drive. So I tried to do this with DD, but the problem was the permissions. So that gave me a little hard time. So basically, now we have it ready. I have downloaded the image. I'm going to do mount loop and mount it directly with this command. So let's go ahead and do folder. I'm 
And there you go. <coughs> we got it mounted. So now we have to copy the content from the mount loop to the mount slacks. So I'm just going to do that. Let's observe TRPB. Is it R capital? Just double checking. Yeah, RPB mount loop. <coughs> There you go. <clears throat> you copy everything. You copy all the data and preserve the permissions. Now we can go to the mount my slacks and run the installation script. That's the content of slacks. As installation, it tells me that device DA is to be located in the physical disk. Yes, I want to enter. Basically, it just set up master boot record, set it bootable, and that's it. So that being said, the distribution is still very lean. <coughs> it's going to be the same thing for the other one. I guess we're done. We can actually, at this point, shut down the virtual machine <coughs> and go back to box take a look on settings remove the ISO and start the machine <coughs> basically here goes booting from this day one And there it goes very fast, very lightweight. In a future video, I want to show you how to customize backgrounds, make it yours, how to install more SD packages, and just not compromise the size. Notice the size is 280 megs. We'll be able to achieve more installation of more packages with uh, the apt install command and just copy directly into the modules, which is going to be located in. Uh, Right now, there's nothing. That's what we want to <coughs> copy into the modules, <coughs> the style packages, and just without compromising the, the size. Um, so, anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and uh, everything's just running from devices here. One, thank you, and make some comments, and have a great, great, great Thanksgiving 2018. Bye now.